What's going on everybody? Ronnie DiMaggio here, product specialist with BMW of Morristown. And today's video, we are going to be doing a really quick first look walk around of the exterior of this 2023 BMW M2. So we do not have full access to this car. Uh, we cannot go inside and start it and things like that for you guys today. We will do that for sure as soon as we get one into our dealership. Uh, but we can take a quick look at the exterior. We are here at BMW's North American headquarters in Woodcliffe Lake. Um, and we have this car sitting in the lobby, so we're gonna try to shoot a quick video with it for you guys, just give you a look at the exterior of the new M2, which was just revealed only a couple of weeks ago, and show you around the exterior. We will talk a little bit about the performance specifications, but mostly just give you guys as in-depth a look as we can at the outside of this M2. So let's get started. All right, so a little bit different than what we're used to in our typical videos. Generally, you guys know that I would walk you around the car, but we're kind of limited on camera people and staff here. Uh, we don't have our microphones either, so hopefully the audio quality turns out okay. But at the very least, I will be able to kind of give you some details on the 2023 M2 and give you guys a look. So let's start out up front with the M2. So the first thing that I noticed when I saw this car in person is that the grills are uh, inset. Unlike most modern M cars, you can see that the grill sort of is behind the bumper a little bit, so the bumper juts out a little bit more. Just one interesting detail. Another interesting detail is how the bumper uh, sort of frames the roundel. That's something that I don't recall seeing at least any time recently on any M cars, but I do think it looks really good. By the way, this color is called Zandvoort Blue. It's a new color for the 2023 M2s, and it does look really nice. I wasn't sure about the color when I saw it in spy photos, uh, but in person, I think it looks really, really good. Another thing to point out about the design of the M2 on the exterior is kind of how rectangular and boxy it is. You can see this lower vent is very rectangular. Um, the bottom portion of the bumper, obviously that center portion is rectangular. You have more right angles, not exact right angles, but closer to what would be a right angle in the grille, uh, which is kind of new for BMW. Um, you also see the grille slats almost extend a little bit into the headlight area, which is unique um, for the M2. You can also see just how wide the M2 is. That uh, front fender there is flared substantially compared to the regular 2 Series, which looks really, really nice. Overall front end design I think is really good. The one thing that's most interesting to me that you don't really see in pictures uh, but will hopefully come up in video and definitely comes through in person is how the grills are inset into the bodywork, which is really interesting. As for the hood, uh, you do have a nice prominent hood bulge there. Not sure if it's any more prominent than the standard hood bulge on the 2 Series, but it looks really nice. Speaking of the hood, underneath the hood is BMW's S58 twin turbocharged inline six. Same engine out of the M3 and the M4. Uh, but it does make a little bit less power, 450 in the M2. Uh, competition variant may be on the way with more power, but for now, 450 horsepower, 406 pound-feet of torque. It's a nice look at the hood bulge there. Let's take a look at these wheels. So they look identical to me to the 825 M's that you get on the M3 and the M4. BMW, I think, is calling these the 930 M's, but the design, in my opinion, looks identical. Uh, good looking wheel though, Pilot Sport 4S tires, 275, 35, 19, and red brake calipers. I'm sure you can get different options. I know you can get blue on those brakes as well. Another good look at how wide the car is. This side skirt here um, juts out substantially. It's almost as if you could use it like a running board to get into the car. Obviously, you'd never want to do that, but it does jut out quite a bit and really adds to the width of the car. Makes it look really nice. Um, that is, if anything, uh, stands out to me about seeing the M2 in person. Uh, it's most definitely the width of the car. It just feels very wide, very substantial, really muscular compared to the standard two, uh, which is what M cars are all about. They're always wide. The M3 has always been a wide body car, uh, save for uh, the E36 generation, but the M2, the F87 was very wide, and I'm really excited to see the G87 continues that. You do have an M winged mirror here, which looks really nice. That's a signature BMW M design element. 
And this particular car has, like I said, unfortunately you can't get in the car, but maybe you can see in there, we do have some carbon bucket seats, six speed manual transmission and I drive eight. Uh, this car also has the carbon fiber roof, which is a new option for the G87, not available on the F87. I'm told there's something of a carbon pack, I believe they're calling it, carbon package for the G87. That includes those bucket seats, interior trim, and the roof. So taking a look at the kind of rear quarter panel fender area from, try to get a decent angle, uh, right about here, you can really see how boxy that fender flare is, specifically in this area right here. You can see that the fender flare has uh, almost the right angle to it which reminds me a lot of the E30 generation, which had those really cool boxy fender flares. Uh, the G87 M2 here kind of carries that over. Again, really wide in the back, and that is evidenced by the fender flare itself, but you also see it in the side skirt, which juts out pretty substantially. Uh, looking at the back wheel, it is a 285, um, 3020. Uh, same style, but bigger wheel, wider tire, single piston floating caliper in the back there, as opposed to the six piston, it looks like, up front. Again, same wheel setup out of the G80 and G82, which is a 275, 285 stagger. That's what we get here as well. Let's take a look at the back of the car here. Again, from this angle, you can really see how wide it is and hopefully just how attractive it is. I mean, it is a really good looking car in person. Uh, I saw the spy photos, uh, as I'm sure many of you did, and I liked it. I liked it in the spy photos and the reveal pictures when those came out. Um, but I still said, I, you know, I need to see it in person to make a final judgment, and here I have. And my final judgment is definitely positive. I think it's a really, really good-looking car. Um, a lot of the things that people complain about in the pictures, like, for example, um, I know some people aren't super excited about the rear bumper design and how this area looks a little bit too sculpted maybe a uh, little bit too square uh, but i think it works really really nicely in person and if you get a black car um, this car is only available for the 23 model year in five different colors that's Zanvor blues you see here toronto red black sapphire brooklyn gray and i believe white um, black cars will hide this kind of design element a little more if you don't like it, but I think it looks really good in this Zandvoort blue color. Speaking of the color, um, it's tough to pick up in uh, pictures and videos. It's much lighter in this in person than, um, or much deeper blue, I should say, not lighter. It's the opposite. It's much darker in person than it looks in photos. Uh, it's definitely lighter than Yas Marina and Astoral and things like that, um, but it's not quite you know, in some photos and in, in weird lighting, it can look almost white, but it definitely has a, a very rich blue to it in person. Uh, so let's take a little bit of a closer look at some specifics on the rear end. You can see the taillights look pretty similar to a standard uh, two series, but that really wide fender flare kind of sets it apart. You have your reflector down here integrated into the bumper in that section that's kind of boxed off a little bit. And of course your M quad tipped exhaust you do have an integrated deck lid spoiler uh, and body color here but I'm sure you can get that in carbon or black if shadow lines are available at some point so overall uh, that will pretty much do it for this video like i said we're just going to be looking at the exterior of the car here today uh, we will get inside the car when we get one into bmw of morristown we will definitely do a more in-depth walk around and review as we do for all BMW models. Uh, but for now, that is gonna do it for our first look at the 2023 BMW M2. Overall, really, really nice looking car in person. Really excited to have been able to check this out for you guys, uh, but that will do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at BMW of Morristown or visit us at 111 Ridgedale Ave. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. Please drop a like if you think we deserved it and subscribe to the channel as well. Um, we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.